What's up guys, how you doing? As you know, I'm a big, nay, a huge fan of the Brio Beardscape trimmers uh, because of what they do, the price, um, the battery life, just the just all around amazingness of what they are. Now, as of a few days ago, Brio has introduced a new member to the family. And that is this, the Axis Trimmer. The Axis Trimmer is designed more for people with shorter beards. But I, personally, big bearded me, shave my whole beard with these portable small size Brio Axis Trimmers. And I just did that, as <laughs> obviously it's looking amazing. Um, but I'm gonna put that video up uh, tomorrow, probably. This will go up today, tomorrow will be the video of the beard trim in which I explain to you how the size of these doesn't m matter that much when it comes to trimming a beard when you get to a certain point. And I'll explain that in detail in the later video. But let's get our grubby little paws into these Brio Axis trimmers right here. Let's open this box up. It's a very clean looking unboxing. They always do great with the packaging. It's like very Apple-esque type stuff. Um, and these are gonna be your Brio Axis trimmers. Now, the first thing you're going to notice is how small they are. Uh, that's just compared to these, though. These are the regular Brio Beardscapes. These are the Brio Axis. Now, there's going to be pros and cons to both. And I'm going to run you through what the differences are going to be. Number one you're going to notice is the size. So, portability wise, the Brio Axis is going to kick some serious butt with that. And by butt, I mean bottom. Yeah, I said bottom. I don't give a heck anymore. Mom, shut up. I'm joking, clearly. Frick. But, anyways, portability, great. Um, there's a difference on the front as you can tell these are adjustable from 1.9 millimeter um, Gap right here all the way down to 1.3 millimeter gap right there now the difference with this is this is a 0 0.5 millimeter gap So that's 1.3 divided by 5 times 5 times 10 times pi. Hey, I ain't never I ain't never claimed to be no math magician Okay, I don't know these are 0.5 millimeter, this is 1.3 millimeter. So one of these suckers is shorter, okay? So that means what it's gonna be great for is when you wanna trim up your cheek lines or you wanna get under your neck. When you don't wanna use a razor and you wanna use a trimmer instead, these already get a close uh, close trim at 1.3 millimeters. This is gonna be, like I said, 53,000 times more <laughs> closer. <laughs> no, this is definitely gonna be a closer cut though uh, when it comes to the cheeks and the neck. So another thing you're gonna notice is there's no screen on this, um, but the battery life is about 90 minutes. So if you charge this up one time all the way till it's full, it's not going to crap out on you. This is a bigger trimmer, so the battery life is doubled at 180, but still 90 minutes is no slouch. The, the, the average amount of time you're gonna spend on a beard trim is no more than five minutes per trim. So you're looking at 90 divided by five. Um, so you're looking at 170 trims with this easily yeah. <laughs> but realistically looking at least around 10 to 20 trims pretty easily with this if not more but yeah so there's no screen there's no adjustability there's just on and off with this this has the power button the adjustable um the adjustable motor rate and then the adjustable trim um the adjustable uh, gap up here this is a set gap of 0.5 millimeters there's one button on and off it's simple and it's easy now Also durable, <laughs> that's a good. Um, but one of the things I noticed while trimming with this is how much better, like more controlled it felt in my hand when I was trimming downstairs just now with this. Um, it's It feels like you have a lot more control where this, you, it, you have control, but there's such a distance between here and like your hand that it's like, this, you can like put your finger right up here and get like right up on it. Like it's, it's um, it just feels great in the hands, I guess is how I could say. Um, it's ergonomically designed, of course. It's gonna have that curve on the back, all that jazz to kind of make it fit your hand better, which is always good. It's like quieter as well. So this is the Beardscape. This is the Axis. This is more of like a and This is more like a Another big difference is price. These are like $65 while the Axis are only like 35 or 40 bucks, I believe. I'll put the Amazon link down below so you can find them. They just came out, so it's probably gonna be kind of hard to find on Amazon, but I'll link you a direct link down below to where you can buy these. The Axis comes with its own charger base, just like the Beardscape does. It sits up nice and pretty on your shelf or your sink or wherever you wanna set it at. The great thing about the Brios as well is it comes with a USB power cord. So if you're on the go and it's an emergency, you can plug this into a laptop or something and get power to your trimmers. Also, not 100% sure, but I believe I read this on the website. You can plug these 
in you can plug this into like a usb power source laptop a wall brick whatever and you can plug this cord into here if it's a dead battery in here and you can trim so that's a pretty cool plus also this cord is really long it's going to be a long ass cord i can tell from looking at it so in the box you get the axis trimmers you get the stand you get the cord you get the two guards which are on the uh the beard scape you get a three six nine and twelve millimeter this is three, four, five, and six millimeter. And also a three millimeter on this cuts way shorter than a three millimeter on this. And I cover that as well in my beard trim video, which will be up tomorrow probably. And then you get some clipper oil. As usual, you don't have to oil these out of the box. They come oiled, ready to go. They're gonna be charged, oiled, and you can just take them out of the box and just get to going. But yeah, that's what's inside the box. As to my thoughts of whether or not I would pick one over the other, I really wouldn't. And I kind of this, and I kind of went into this in my beard trimming video when I showed the different uses for both. Um, this is really good um, for it's and better than the Brio Beardscape for trimming the cheeks and then for me trimming the sideburns because I like to get my sideburns nice and short and then kind of bring the beard down like this so I get the really short sides and the long bottom. That's the look I like personally. And so these do a much better job of getting this side shorter um, because at three millimeters, there's very short as this can go besides bare guarding it like that with no guard on it, just a bare uh, clipper, which is risky even for me. Um, the closest I can get is a three mil um, is a three mil guard, and the three mil guard on this is the closest that it gets on this. But the three mil is much uh, of a shorter distance um, than the three mil is on this, so I get a much closer trim on the sides, which is what I like. But then again, you also have the Brio Beardscape, which have a much uh, the twice the battery life. You could charge these like once a year. You have the adjustable length on these. You have the adjustable speeds as well. And then you get the much wider blade length. So that's one of the main things I would use the Brio Beardscape for. So from now on, when I beard trim, I will use these for my cheeks and then do my sideburns with these. And then the rest, I will use the Brio Beardscape on because I can just go womp, 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 and be good versus going and taking, you know, 10 minutes with this versus two minutes with this. It's not realistically 10 minutes and two minutes. It's, but you can tell that the, the blade length is shorter on this versus this. That's just how it is. But yeah, guys, those are my thoughts. Um, click the link down below to go get you a, a pair of the Brio Axis. And then I will also link the Brio Beardscape down below if you want those, if you're interested. Guys, I love trimming my beard. It's one of my favorite things to do as far as beard related stuff goes. And the Brio line just constantly wows me. They make really good stuff. So check them out. I appreciate it, guys. And as always, have a great day. Stay bearded. Bye.